Alrighty, first, I like to always keep my palm over in this area. Like I said, this area tends to get cracked up a lot if you're not careful because there's clips under here and this side will be caught up and this side moves suddenly and it can crease things. So I protect this spot. Kind of get the initial pop like that. Both sides kind of pop up a little bit. And then once I got a little bit of space, I stick my tool in here. And I start. You hear that? I think I got a clip. So now I'm gonna try to get some more. Let's see if there's any more on this side. And again, I don't wanna pull up too much because there's a, uh, that can crease right here, but I just heard some more clips go. Sometimes I'll lift a little bit more. Okay, I heard some on that side, and I think I got some good space here, so I'm gonna move on to the other side with this guy and kind of do the same thing. All right, this side, it's kind of the same idea. You wanna protect this spot from creasing, and I get the initial pop. There we go. Got it stick this guy in here and I again I watch out for the trim pieces you don't want to scratch anything out let's see if I can get to my screw holes oh, no not yet let's see if I can get some more this side could be popped a little bit there we go a little tape now there's a grounding wire in there so you don't want to snag it while you're snaking this in but there we go. That's what we were looking for. See, now I'm starting to see my screws in there. Yeah, I think that was the main one there. So, I'm gonna pull this guy out. I'm gonna kinda do that now. Kinda support it while I get this uh, T20 out. I'm just gonna work my way down the line here. That one. This one over here. here yeah I don't want to drop these ones I can start taking some of the ones on the bottom it's a little washer right here there's a the little washer We got some more down here. So this one, we wanna make sure we're taped up again because we're about to pull out this piece and the, the screw hole kind of has a little plastic part around it and you don't wanna gouge up your trim. So this kind of pulls straight out there we go. And like I said, you don't want to scratch up the trim, so pull it out easy because this part's can scratch it. Same thing on this side. Make sure you got all your screw holes out, that little washer, all that. Screws are good. And I kind of pull straight back. Hmm. Sometimes a trim tool can help. So if I take this and kind of stuff it underneath the here. Okay. There it goes. Alright. Again, that's why we tape up this. You don't want to scratch anything with these corners. Now we got some more screws underneath the dash pad here. Got our T20s. We got this guy over here. There we go. Now this one pops straight out. Start on this side. There we go. And, oh, there we go. So what we can do is we can kind of leave this here. 
um, and then support it on the other side as well and uh, that way we have easier access to our screw holes. It now take out all the MCU screws. Disconnect some of these electrical connectors. Both sides have this little glove box and hazard hazard light connector. We gotta remove those. Should just pull straight back here. There we go. Should come out just like that. Alrighty, next step, we got to remove the ground strap right here. Kind of just pulls straight back towards us. And now we got to get our two screws back here. And what we do is we use a magnet to hold the washer in place as we get our um, screw out because you don't want to drop it. that one. Now I'm gonna loosen this one a little bit. Typically when whenever we crack this one loose it'll this one will try to fall. So go ahead and hold on to it there. Okay. We've got the MC, MCU loose. Looks like our washers are still there. So now I'm gonna stick my finger in there and pull the MCU back. This one of them ended up dropping, but that's okay. We'll get them down there later. Alrighty. And then the final step is just getting behind the thing and pulling all the wires out. Yeah, those washers are uh, ridiculous. So for this part, kind of lift up, and you got you got to be careful about this edge here, scraping your trim from the ground strap. See this little thing? Don't scrape it. But I'm gonna start with the ones that are the tightest first. I'm going to just pull the tab straight down. All right, that gave me a little bit more slack. I'll go on to the next tightest. Uh, hey, hey, look at what we just found. Another washer. All right, now we got some smaller ones, smaller square ones. They got a little tab on top too that I'm getting with my fingernail. Now we can finally get to our hazard light connector. It pulls straight back. There we go. Just like that. Now we're get, getting another small square one. Just like that. A little tab on the top. Black one. Now this little blue one, the tab's on the bottom. So I stick my fingernail under there. And there we go. There's that one. Tab's on the bottom on that one. It's kind of hard to get to. Same thing with this guy. It's kind of hard. Yep, tab's on the bottom. Now we got our USB connectors right here. Tab's on the bottom. There we go. And then there's three fat ones on the bottom. One. Two and three. And then you should be ready to pull her out. Now when you're pulling it out, make sure you don't scratch up any any of your seats or your your trim because the corner of these are nasty and you want to be careful not to drop it of course, kind of heavy. Let me see you. There's your connectors on the back. All right, now that we got the MCU out of the car, we're gonna take it into the office and put it on the bench, uh, hook up the computer to it, and do a little bit of testing.